good afternoon. This is Diecast Luna. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my Platinum Jubilee Celebration Challenge. And uh, I just thought I wanted to do something to mark the occasion um, for Queen Elizabeth II, our, our Queen, um, for her 70 years on the throne. So I thought this is my way of doing something towards her celebrations. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's people all over the country and probably all over the world, people that are from the UK or just people that have something to do, to do with the UK. Or well, it doesn't matter. Um, people are celebrating the Queen's 70 years on the throne. So anyway, I thought I would do something and I thought, why not make a challenge out of it? It'd be a bit of fun. Um, I'm not the biggest royalist person in the world, but at the same time, you've got to admire the fact that this lady has been in, on, on the throne for 70 years. And to be honest, we're all lucky nowadays if we live for 70 years. So anyway, with that being said, I will commence what the challenge is about. Um, I do believe, I think this is um, her fourth jubilee. Um, as you can see there in the background, I've got a... Uh, this is from a silver jubilee from 1977. Then um, she had a gold jubilee in 2002. And in 2012, I believe it was the diamond jubilee and now here in the 2022 we are celebrating her platinum jubilee so anyway let's chat and more with the challenge so anyway <clears throat> you don't have to call it if you want to partake in this challenge you don't have to call it the uh, platinum jubilee challenge um, that's just what i've given the title as um, what we're actually going to do is show the colors of the union jack so the the red white and the blue colors in the flag so basically that's the idea um, is to show I'm doing three of each colour so I will quickly just show this bus it's not part of the challenge it's just the fact that it's a really nice piece and it has survived since 1977 so there you go 1952 1977 this is for the silver jubilee so that is pretty cool but anyway I just thought I'd show that anyway <coughs> excuse me my um, if I cough and sneeze and wheeze a bit as my allergies are playing up as it is Obviously very warm over here and it is that time of the year where my allergies play out. Anyway, that being said, so I'm going to be showing three colours of cars. So we'll get straight into it. And like I said, you can do what you like. You know, as long as it's red, white and blue, um, the cars, that's all it, all it matters. You can use any car you like, any size, anything. As long as the cars are red, white and blue. Not individually, sorry, cars individually are red, white and blue. If that makes sense. So anyway, we'll get straight into it, and I haven't opened it, so I'll just quickly open it. So we're going to be showing one from Tomica, which is a Lamborghini Countach. So let's put the camera down a little bit. So it is pretty cool. So as you can see, it is in the red. Very nice little piece. I, mean, I think this is from the Tomica Premium range. It has an opening feature. I have showed this car before. But it is very cool. So that is the first car, and that is red. So it's put to one side. And then the second car I'm going to show is one that I one of my one of my first sort of restorations, um, or one of my first sort of custom restorations, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was, I believe, um, I'm trying to think now. I think this is a police car. I think it's a Bronco. Was it a Blazer? A little look. Chevy Blazer. I think this was a police car, possibly. I can't remember now. Or it might have been a fire chief car. But anyway, I repainted it red. And it had the aerial missing. So I made my own little aerial for it. And gave it some up-to-date wheels. And a little bit of detail. So it's pretty cool. And it's the first time I've had it out. To be honest, I forgot I made this. So I thought that would be pretty cool to show. So that is number two. So that's another red piece and just two seconds and then the next red piece i'm going to show is again from tomica is a tomica limited vintage and again i have shown this before but why not show it again i just haven't been very organized and unpacked stuff so i apologize for that as i just literally <clears throat> threw this challenge together so there you go, it is the Tom, uh, it is a Ferrari, uh, not the Testarossa, this is the Ferrari T, uh, 512 TR. But it's a very, very nice piece, very nicely detailed. Uh, with it's little, I'll say not little, it's 4.9 litre, if I can get it open. 
4.9 litre flat 12. So very, very cool piece. So now I think you get any idea. So basically it's the colors of the Union Jack. So now I'm gonna go in with the blue. So we've got this Hot Wheels mainline Mustang or Shelby Mustang. It's a little look. 20 Ford Shelby GT 500. So that is a cool looking piece. So that's the blue. And then the next piece is going to be this Mark 1 Volkswagen Golf or in other countries, Rabbit. So that is a very cool piece from Greenlight. Obviously, opening bonnet. So that is pretty cool too. And then the last blue piece is going to be one I restored a few months ago. This is the Saab Sonnet from Matchbox. And this is a complete restore, put back to as it should look. It's really nicely done, turned out really nice this. And has the opening feature at the back. So that is pretty cool too. And then the next one I'm going to show is one I bought the other day. This is the uh, Volkswagen Beetle in white. A little pull back and go job. So very, very nice little piece. So it's in lovely condition considering I found it in a little flea market. So that's pretty cool. And then the next piece is going to be this Buick Regal. I think it's the Buick Regal. And it's in a pearl white, but it is still white. Uh, from Hot Wheels Premium. It's a little look. 87 Buick Regal GNX. So that's a very cool piece too. All tampered in really nicely. So that is pretty cool. And then the last piece, I've, I must I apologise again. I didn't get out the bag, so I'll just quickly get it out and leave that one there. What should I do it? And my last piece I'm going to show is this Ford Mustang from Matchbox. And it's in tremendous condition for a car from the mid 60s. It's a little look upside down. No, it's not made in England by Lesney Matchbox series. Uh, doesn't say, but yeah. So I, I should imagine this is based on the 65 Mustang, I would have thought. But very, very cool anyway. Anyway, so that is the challenge. So have a go. <coughs> it's pretty easy. You just show, like I've done, I've just shown basically eight cars. Six, seven, eight, sorry, nine. Um, three of each colour. You can do four of each colour. You can do six of each colour. It's up to you. As long as you show red, white and blue, then that's fine with me. And like I said, you don't have to call it. You can just call it the Union Jack Challenge if you'd like. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.